Okay, so what I have going on is two different voices coming from two oscillators and they're going through two different sequencers. So they come through at different points. And this is just for people who want to hear how this stuff works. This isn't usually been all that interesting. <laughs> but playing with the depth amount and the width amount, like only right now, for example, in this higher voice, uh, it's not going through all of the different BCAs right now. So what I have is the high pass, band pass, notch, and low pass outputs of a state variable filter going into the different inputs here. And I'm just grabbing them at the peaks, and now it makes it more, more percussive. The last one goes into uh, an unattenuated input on the four channel mixer, so it's always louder, which happens to be the band pass, which I kind of like, it sounds pretty cool that way. And then I have separate, I have the other sequencer input going in here. It's a slightly different tuning. And it's going through the pulse matrix. Basically, this is like a sign to a pulse matrix. To get those different octaves down. And then some of those outputs are in here separately. And then these notes come in at different points. All of these are controlled and the filter actually by this envelope right here. So controlling like the uh, the depth of the segments are also with an envelope is super interesting. See, now with the two voices, we're getting like this different rhythmic take on what's happening here, which is pretty cool. See, with the depth amount, I'm limiting how many of the different inputs that are coming from this pulse matrix here for these lower notes are being heard.